Good morning, everybody. We're making Kimberville Kool-Aid today. There's a story behind this. When I went to Utah and took the certification, they asked me what I was going to do and what was my plans. I said, we're going to come back to West Virginia and we're going to make Kimberville Kool-Aid. Well, Kim at Kimberville, which is the owner of the company, has really outdone herself with the blue tiles. And I hope you get the wow factor as much as I have. But I will tell you at 5 o'clock this morning, Lucky said, Mom, you got to stop the presentations. Lucy went to her bed. Miss B went in the living room. But Lucky sat there and listened to me do these presentations on these blue tiles because I have a lot of information to share. And it's real simple. But we're making Kimberville Kool-Aid today. Yay for us. So that's the story behind Kimberville. The blue tops. This is going to answer a lot of questions for folks. This is the essential set. You've got to have the essential set in order to achieve this. Now some people has went ahead and bought the designs online without this, but with great results the blue tiles make it happen and makes it perfect as my quilting on my long bond machine. So uh, it comes, you get 372 files. Now don't do like I did and I tried to push it out of the box, but as all it does is it opens up very nicely like this. Your tiles is over here, uh, your instruction manual. Kimberbell has designed the best instructions of any embroidery company that I've ever seen. They even tell you to change your threads. Uh, they even tell you the stabilizers to use. They go the extra mile always. So you will see you get a jump drive with this. And if you notice, uh, they're doing away with CDs. Every company is. Everything is going to a jump drive. And I'm happy for those that have a challenge getting the the CD to the jump drop. So this is very nice. You also get two of the slap bands is what I call them. Um, right here is your products. And you will learn about the blue tiles and the markers today. And at some point I will get Lori to wet a paper towel. And I'm going to show you one of the nicest markers that I've seen in a long time. And what's nice about it is a little water takes the mark away because you will be marking your quilt with this. So we wanted to show you that there's 372 different designs. That's including borders and your block. So I wanted to show you this. The next thing I want to tell you is when you go to do this, which I know price is, is important to you, this runs $129.95 and this is $39.95. If I bought one, I would buy the other one because of all the different tiles that you get. Once you get accustomed to this, you can go to our website down at the bottom and you can link directly to Kimberbell and you can get more designs. But as you start with this, start with the basics here and then go from there. So I wanted to show you this because it has lots of nice designs. It has... <clears throat> Border, borders that go from one inch up to six inches, but it will go up to 10 inches long depending on the frame that you're using. If you just have a five by seven frame, you got the option to do this. You can also custom quilt with this with the embroidery machine. You can do your blocks different. I suggest before you start your quilt that you totally block it off so you'll know which tiles that you're using. And I'm going to show you that this morning with um, the machine that I have. And the next thing I'm going to show you, and you'll have lots of questions, so I am here to answer your questions every day. There's a few things that you have to do before you get started. The first thing that you have to do is you have to get your backing needs to be three inches longer 
all the way around. You need that extra so that when you get to your corners, you have enough fabric to latch into your frame. So all the way around, you need at least three inches. And if you notice, you already see that I have marked this because I want to be a little bit ahead because I have so much to share with you about it. Um, what you do is you put your tile right here in the center. You always want to start your quilt in the center and work out the sides, work the top out, and work downward. So I wanted to show you that because you put the marks on your quilt. And in this little spot here, it tells you that you're going to use a 10 by 6 blue frame. And you want to do that because you're going to kind of mark your whole quilt. And I know no one has a better memory than me. And I couldn't remember that because if I have to go down here in the corner and use a 2x2 two two blue tile, I will have forgotten. But I did it on this type of fabric so that you could totally visually see. And you want to mark your corners because when you go to your next block, you're going to line that up with this. Now, you can do custom quilting with your embroidery machine now. Like I said, Kim has overdone herself at Kimberbell. So, we're going to get started on that. But, one other thing I want to talk to you about is you have to use a light spray. Now, we've taken in machines and they've brought their hoops in. This is a very nice spray. Some of y'all go out and buy this stuff that's, it's lacquer. Now this is not. But when you spray the spray to connect your three, because you want them to have a little tack so that they don't shift, so that when you move it, you have a smooth back because this takes away all that back pain killing pinning. And we all know that it doesn't matter if you sit in the floor, if you lay over top of the table, it's a back killer when you go to pin a quilt in order to machine quilt it. But Kim has taken all that guesswork, all that challenge out to where you just load your hoop up in it. So, and I sprayed all three layers this morning. I misted it lightly. Now, what I would suggest when you go to spray your KK2000, which I think it's the best spray on the the market it runs uh, $19.99 it's a small bottle now you can buy the lower end stuff but if you buy this a little is all it takes but you're gonna have to use some type of adhesive so that your quilt does not shift as far as the three layers together so I really like this and I did this this morning um, and it's not real sticky it's not real tacky but it adheres. Spray this on a piece of cardboard away from everything else. Don't spray it near your machine because it just kind of goes, the lighting and stuff draws that up in. So I wanted to mention that because think about uh, when you spray hairspray and your bathroom door is always open. When you go to do your spraying or whatever cleaning you do, you go, oh God, I'm not going to do this anymore and a week later, you're just spraying and it's back on the door. So I wanted to mention that. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to the machine here. Lori's going to chase me down. <laughs> you get a nice jump drive with it. And right here it is. I don't want to pull it out. And it's got all your designs. And I am working on a Lumineer um, because we wanted to this morning because the lighting is so well. Now, you'll see when you first go into your jump drive and it's connected on your machine, you'll see embroidery file, S quilting, instructions, blocking, seasonal house, table runners. You can do so much stuff, but Kimber Bell suggests you never do over a 60 by 60 size. Now, I know that Jill Blizzard at some point is going to break the rules. And I know that I've got a lot of friends out there that's going to try it too. But they suggest you don't use more than a 60 by 60. Kimberbell highly recommends their project uh, batting. Now, 
you say, do I need a stabilizer with this? Absolutely not. The batting wool will be your stabilizer in between. So you can put your batting together. You know how we kind of stitch it out if you want to while you're extra batting when you're making these small projects. But I, I suggest you just do something up and do different squares so that you can custom embroidery with quilting. But I wanted to show you that. So um, I'm going right here to the files. It doesn't matter if you don't have our lovely brother machines. Um, it fits uh, Janome. It fits Viking. It fits Bernina and the other ones. But we use PS because that's the brother. Now, I'm going down here to these swirls because I like swirls. And I'm going to do block by block, by block or you can do the tiles. So I want to show you how easy it is. Now the next thing I need to show you is remember I put in my my size here a 6 by 10. So this is a 2 by 2, a 2 by 4, 2 by 6, 2 by 8, 2 by 10. So I need to find my 6 by 10. And right here it is. There's going to be my design. Now, one of the other nice features that Kim mentioned in her video, you can YouTube her video. She gives you more information. She has more people that preps her stuff. But I prepped mine this morning uh, myself because I wanted to be able to walk you through it and show you how simple it is. And we just threw this together yesterday on a piece of fabric. Where's my fabric, Lori, that... Um, Lori just handed me this. We wanted to show you this. We had done this yesterday with the help of Jill. And if you see right here, you can see where it's marked. There's the center of that one. And it just goes right in and blends. And you'll see the markings, which, like I said before, we're finished. And look at the back. You don't know where they stop and where they start. So, for you gals that want to get into quilting, but you say that you're freehand, you're just not good, it skips stitches, this is the way to go. Like I said, we're making Kool-Aid in West Virginia, and we're making Kimberbell with the blue tiles. So, I'm setting the 6x10, which you see right here. This is a 6x10. All you have to do is look... And know the size of your frame. And you can do it. You can do sashing with this in between because you have borders, blue tiles that go up to six inches wide and up to ten inches long. So you can do borders. And I'm going to show you a Kathy Bolton's quilt, that, uh, her Halloween quilt, because she custom quilt her blocks. Uh, so I wanted to mention that, you know, the sky's the limit. And then one of the things, if you get around the edges, as I put this in, I'm going to try to put it in smoothly. But I wanted you to see the process from the beginning to the end. You will have lots of questions, I know, um, 